morning. It's daily devotion time again. And this morning, my daily devotion is on the topic, God's kingdom. Looking at Romans 14 verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. All of us who accepted the Lord Jesus in our hearts is a part of the kingdom of God, which was one of Jesus' most talked about topics. But how often do we as believers discuss God's kingdom and keep it on the forefront of our hearts? Both in the Old and New Testament, the term kingdom is understood as dynamic in nature and refers primarily to the rule or reign of a king. Many people think of the kingdom of God as heaven or as the church. However, the kingdom of God is not an actual physical place. A working definition of God's kingdom from a biblical perspective can be seen as God's universal reign as creator and as Christ's exhaustive work as redeemer. Since God is eternal, his kingdom is eternal and so transcends time and space. Salvation or entrance into the kingdom of God is by grace through faith in Christ and has nothing to do with eating, drinking, or any other rites, rituals, or observances. Salvation is a condition of the heart, a heart that has trusted Christ for the forgiveness of sin and life everlasting. True worship emanates from a soul that is right with God. It is an attitude that is conceived in the inner heart which reflects Christ's beauty and grace. It is manifested in the fruit of the Spirit being produced and the character of Christ being reflected in a life. Righteousness, peace, and the joy of the Lord is an inner loveliness shining through the one who is loving the Lord Jesus and seeking his kingdom first. The kingdom of God proceeds from the one that is walking in spirit and truth. It is a matter of dying to the self-life and living for Christ. Righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit comes through faith in him. We are not under law, but under grace. So let us make sure that the motives which govern our thoughts and actions are carried out in lives that honor Him. As a result, may we do everything as unto the Lord, so that we give glory to our Father in heaven. Be encouraged by the word today. May the Lord richly bless you and continue to be safe.